Occasionally, sport produces a prodigy like Steffi Groff. Determined first steps are innocent, but heading in a determined direction. Groff was hitting tennis balls not long after she learned to walk, and by age 13, she held a world ranking. By 1988, at just 19, she had grown to dominate her sport, capturing her first Wimbledon. Tennis history beckons Steffi Groff, the 1988 Wimbledon winner, now but one step from a grand slam. Her title defense in 1989 summoned tears. We began to learn that Groff's stern veneer masked considerable emotion. was the feeling in 91. Two years later, she shared victory number five with family and friends. In 1996, the year of her seventh title, there was pride, perfection, and playfulness. That place is very, very special to me. Not only of my success, but um, you know, just the atmosphere and the tradition it has. And uh, I do... Uh, Seem to have a great pleasure playing there, and, and, and no questions, my favorite tournament. Last year, Groff experienced new emotions, frustration, and fear. After two decades of virtually non stop tennis, her body was betraying her. A series of injuries, including a damaged left knee, kept her sidelined most of last year and well into 1998. With all the injuries that I've had, people do not really understand why I'm still trying to play. And uh, I mean, I'm the, the least happy person about them, and, and I have to live through them, <laughs> which isn't always easy. But, um, you know, so I'm just tired of that. But on the past Monday, at age 29, 10 years after her first championship here, she returned to Wimbledon in search of an eighth title. Her opening round win only seemed routine. She felt deeply the meaning of coming back, of returning to Wimbledon. In the beginning of the press conference, I got a little emotional because I just don't take it for granted in here. Steph, you, you won more than any other player. What's it that keeps you going? Being out there in center court like today. Healthy and hungry, Groff cruised into the third round Friday against Natasha Zvereva, a player to whom Groff had never lost. And at times Friday, we saw the Steffi of old moving freely around the court, unleashing that iron forehand that forged 21 Grand Slam titles. Incredible career best performance by Zvereva intersected with Groff's waning confidence and lack of consistency. It would prove too much to overcome. In defeat on this day, Groff's emotions were steady. Time had taught her that a return to form will take time to be patient. I didn't have these high expectations as maybe other people had. It is obviously disappointing because she's usually a player that I like to play against. I have no solution, I have no, no answer to this one. Um, it just happens.